It all starts with inspiration. It's the play against the smooth and the rough. Then the hunt to find the look. Oh, let's shop. This is a chandelier. Oh, that's the same table. And finally, the decision from our designer. Did I bring it home? I've got the table and now I need some chairs. Jason had a spot on option, but since they weren't a part of the sale, I'm keeping my eyes open. That's good stuff right there. Modani is the new kid in town when it comes to home stores in Chicago, but even though they've only been open here a couple months, They've got a location on each coast, and the full inventory is available online. Okay, we're standing in the middle of the store, and you're still shopping on your website? I know, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm horrible. I'm a horrible salesman. We're so addicted to technology. <laughs> I'm also addicted to a good deal, so I'm in the right place. You would think when you walk in here, it looks so, like, glam and, like... Kapow, with it like the high expensive. design. Yeah, it looks very expensive, but it's actually really, really reasonable. Mm -hmm. Well, you could tell them that it was expensive. <laughs> you, can, okay. you can lie. No one needs to know. Nope. <laughs> Since I'm totally reliant upon my mobile device, too, I whip it out to show Alex the chairs I'm trying to find. Yeah, we have a couple of things that are very similar in style to this, and I'll go ahead and show you right now if you want to. This is like the type of chair, really, that I am looking for. Yeah, I have one in velvet that I can show you in the back. Oh, Perfect. This is our Barroco collection. Barroco. Here's the new Louis armchair in yeah. the black velvet. I mean, that's pretty much it. On sale for $349. These white ones don't have arms. How much are the white ones? $249. And they also come in the black velvet as well. Oh. And these babies are more than just a pretty face. Like Lara's designer chairs, these are also comfy enough to let your guests hang out long after dessert has been cleared. It's memory foam mattress, so they're actually very comfortable. So it'll remember the shape of my butt when I sit down next time? It will. <laughs> Alex introduces me to some more sleek seating possibilities. What do you think about the Enzo chair over here? This one? Yes. I love Zo it. But I've pretty much decided that those black velvet armless chairs are the winners here. But that doesn't mean I can't keep shopping. You didn't expect to do so well opening up in Chicago? Not to toot your own horn or anything, but <laughs> I'm pretty popular. But I have more than two friends on Facebook. <laughs> Another lap of the store serves me well when I spot a black light that has similar suspension and shape to Lara's. Sure. So it's 190? Mm -hmm. How is that even possible? You're buying it directly from the designer, and that's why you're saving so much money. Done and done. No hanging layers of horn, of course, but for now, it's a great option. This week's inspiration is an edgy dining room on the North Shore designed by Lara Prince. I've tried shopping for lower cost items that get the look and here's what I found. A large table and feathered light fixture as well as some natural accessories from Jason Home, budget friendly Louis style chairs and another possible light option at Modani in Lincoln Park, a serving piece with storage at Overstock in Deerfield and finally rock and roll worthy wallpaper at Paper Dolls in Highland Park. Now it's time to find out if Lara thinks my recreation is truly to dine for. There are a few things I think I did really well. There are a few things that I think you're going to have issues with. <laughs> so let's just start by saying I'm aware of that. OK, so we started by talking about the table. Now this massive piece is impossible to duplicate. I think. It's charred, it's like attacked, it's custom <laughs> size, it's huge. And so I kind of just did the best I could. I love it. I think it's awesome. Really? Yeah. And if you want, you can always attack it. You <laughs> get that <of> distress <laughs> look for nothing. Lara is also totally on board with my use of fallen antlers as a natural centerpiece. So by the time I move on to those Louis chairs from Modani, I'm feeling pretty good about my choices. They're amazing. I think you did a fantastic right? job. Congratulations. Okay, now here's where we might start to change your opinion. <laughs> I show Lara the inexpensive drum chandelier that has the shape, but pretty much none of the other attributes of her high-end fixture. So this was the very low-end sort of duplicate of this chandelier. But, of course, it's missing the natural element of the horn. It's missing the, what is that, horse hair or something? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I found another one that I think you were going to love but I had to show you. Yes, love that. <laughs> it's gorgeous. That is awesome. I knew she'd love it, but at nearly 2,300 bucks, it's definitely not a bring it home budget item. So that's your real, your wow piece. If you could balance something like that and try to, you know, 
stick with the budget on the, your other pieces, it's worth it because um, it's sort of like buying a piece of art and they're worth splurging on. Yeah, that yeah. would make the room. Not to detract from the wow chandelier, I think the wallpaper I found was pretty wow too. And it's significantly cheaper than the high end. It's a beautiful pattern, absolutely. You definitely want to bring in color on the walls. Yeah. The black table, black chairs, neutral lighting, that's your one area that you can sort of take advantage and bring in some color. Yeah. And then you can pull in the color on your tabletop to sort of coordinate with that. Am I going too edgy though? No, absolutely not. If you love the edginess so far, then you're going to like the rock and roll piece that I found to sort of be the storage piece in the room. Now this guy serves two purposes, and I can see that you're not loving it actually. <laughs> so here's, here's my thought process here, okay? So you said that because you had this large storage piece that you just fell in love with, so I was just going out and looking to fall in love with something, Absolutely. just like you advised. That's what you have to do. But you had said that, you know, you can't really use this one as sort of a serving area because it's too high, and that's why you brought in the second one. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought, what if we find something that's low enough to use as both, and then you kind of save the money on having to get a second one? Absolutely, I like that thinking. It brings in a little bit of that rock and roll element. I think my, my only um, comment would be, I would probably want to change the hardware. Um, oh, okay. I think that the little handles there are a little sort of nondescript and I would probably want to change them out. A little last minute internetting found me those awesome animal shot glasses for 32 bucks a piece. And some table settings I found at Jason bring in that horn that I missed out on in the chandelier. I love it. Absolutely, that is magnificent. I think that it looked gorgeous on a black table. Yeah, you're congratulating me. I give you an A. Yay! I really do. I have to say, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> oh, you had no faith in me whatsoever, <laughs> Sorry. huh? I think we're going to have to drink to this one. Oh, yes. Well, let's, we should fill up those little animal shot glasses. You want to throw in pieces that are a little bit less expected. You want to have a surprise element. You, it's when you fall in love with pieces, they will work together. As long as you find some kind of common design element, it could be the coloring or the texture or you know something that kind of pulls them together. And if you just throw in a little bit of color, that's really all you need because that's where your eye is gonna go to. Yeah. Contrast is what it's all about. Lara's designer dining room, fit for a fashionable party of 14, cost about $42,000. My Bring It Home version came in at just over seven grand, even with my feathery splurge. We've done the searching so that you don't have to. Totally selfless, really. Just head to bringithomechicago.com to get a second look at anything you've seen during today's show so that you too can bring it home.